seven political leaders that Obaseki can convince to support any presidential candidate for 2023. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys, welcome back to our channel and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my beautiful people. We really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. There are seven politicians that have been listed that um, Obaseki has got influence um, with, that um, he's got a good rapport with, that he can actually convince um, to throw their support behind any presidential candidate for 2023. Quite interesting. We know recently it's been stated that um, Governor Gordon Obaseki is one of the most popular governors in the country a do state governor interesting again anyway guys we'll bring more details shortly but before we carry on please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again godwin norega say obaseki was born on 1st july 1957 he's a nigerian politician and businessman who is currently the governor of a do state he holds postgraduate degrees in both finance and international business and he's also a fellow at the chartered institute of stockbrokers nigeria he served as an executive board member of several private companies, including Afri Invest. He was the recipient of the Nigerian Union of Teachers NUT Award for Best Performing Governor of the Year in 2019. He was once tagged the wake and see governor because he prefers working and delivering infrastructural projects without prior funfair or needless rhetorics. On the 29th of September 2016, Obaseki was elected the governor of Edo State under the platform of the All Progressive Congress. During the 2020 Edo gubernatorial election, Obaseki sought for a re-election under the APC but was controversially disqualified by the party's primary election screening committee from contesting the primary elections, citing missing letters on the governor's National Youth Service Corp NYC certificate and what other observers described as Spurious excuses surrounding the governor's university admission. On the 16th of June 2020, Obaseki resigned his membership from the APC and on 19 June 2020, Obaseki decamped to the People's Democratic Party and declared his intention to seek re-election on the PDP platform. PDP, however, described him as a big catch. On the 20th of September 2020, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced Governor Gordon Obaseki as winner of the Edo State gubernatorial election. He won against his major opponent from the All Progressive Congress, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu, with a total number of 307,955 votes. Reportedly, there are seven political leaders that Obaseki can convince to support any presidential candidate contesting for the 2023 presidential seat. First, Kayode Fayemi. Kayode Fayemi and Obaseki over the years are close allies to the extent that the members of the All Progressive Congress APC in Ekiti State last few months accused Kayode Fayemi of supporting Obaseki during the recently conducted Edo governorship election. Kayode Fayemi is also one of the most influential governors and leaders of the APC in the Southwest whose political powers goes beyond Ekiti State and Southwest. Next, Ayodele Fayoshe. Ayodele Fayoshe was one of the politicians that congratulated Wike on the success made by Obaseki in his second term victory as the governor of Edo State. Since Obaseki's victory, Fayoshe has also been one of the political leaders that consistently won Obaseki never to return or go back to the APC. Next, Chief John Odige Oyegu, former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC and the current Keteka Extraordinary National Convention Planning Committee, of the All Progressive Congress APC, Chief John Odige Oyegu is a close friend to Governor Gordon Obaseki. He was one of the politicians that stood solidly behind Obaseki when APC disqualified Obaseki of getting the party's ticket to vie the second term as the governor of the state. Recall that Obaseki was accused of submitting personal records that contain inconsistent details by APC. Oyegu supported Obaseki by accusing the accused, Mr. Oshomole, of acting unconstitutionally. Next, President Mohamed Buhari. Last year, Governor Gordon Obaseki expressed the fact that he maintained a good relationship with President Mohamed Buhari. 
he further stated that his relationship with the president, Mohammed Buhari, is the kind of the relationship that exists between a father and a son. Recall that in the last Edo election, President Buhari did not interfere with the Edo state electoral process. Next, Vice President Yemi Osibajo. Gordon Obaseki, immediately after his re-election into office as the governor of the state, visited Osibanjo in Asorok to pay a courtesy visit to show his appreciation to the vice president who didn't use his incumbency power to influence the result of the election conducted in Edo State. This shows that there is a good relationship between the two politicians. Gordon Obaseki was warmly welcomed by Vice President Osibanjo. Next, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. Chief Olusegun Obasanjo a few years ago said that if 50% of Nigerian governors perform like Obaseki, Nigeria will fulfill his destiny. Obasanjo expressed the governor Obaseki has grown in impressive profile since coming into the office, which has earned him accolades within and outside Nigeria. Last but not the least, ex-president Goodluck Jonathan. Last year, Former President Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan applauded Edo State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseki for providing impactful and purposeful leadership in Edo State, urging him to continue in his uncommon developmental strides. The former president gave the commendation when he paid the governor a courtesy visit in his residence. This shows that there is a good rapport between the duo. In conclusion, Obaseki, based on his level of relationship with their both political leaders, can easily convince them to support any presidential candidate that wishes to vie for the 2023 presidential seat in Nigeria. Wow, it's quite interesting. But um, that of um, Ekiti State Gov former Ekiti State Governor, um, the person of um, Ayodele, um, fire shade, I wouldn't know because we know at the initial stage it was even fire shade that was accusing Wiki of uh, trying to play some games. And um, at that point, he was asked, Are you fighting against your own party member? Then Obaseke was already with the PDP and he was asked, that, What is going on? Are you supporting um, APC's candidate? But he came out to state openly that he, he is not supporting anyone that um, he doesn't support any of the two candidates as Pastor Saige is a year. And Governor Gordon Obaseki. However, guys, this um, has been reportedly um, stated that um, there are the seven political leaders that Obaseki can actually work to and convince to support any presidential candidate for 2023. Let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.